us whatever is on your heart with the Lord has done and why you're getting baptized today. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm a little bit nervous, but I want to share my testimony. Um, I have always been a believer of the Lord since early childhood because um, my grandma, my maternal grandma, she raised me in Pentecost Church with the Word of God for many years. Um, it wasn't until I turned to the age of about 16 years old, I stopped going to church and um, by the age of 17, 18 years old, I moved out of my home. And I began to explore the sins of the world. And um, it's the kind of thing that many find pleasure in. And um, I ended up facing heartache, pain. My soul felt so lost. And I looked for love in all the wrong places. I faced depression, anxiety, and confusion for the next several years. Once I moved to Ohio from New York City 13 years ago, I found a church to go to. After I got lost, going to a front house, I went to that church for about three years, and then I fell off again. It wasn't until April of 2021 that I spoke to a friend, which I met at the old church, Myron Redonda. Um, she introduced me to Rockstar Church, and um, I went and visited once in 2021, and I never came back. So I went through a lot of many trials and mental, you know, mental um, anguish, and um, due to my past pain and depression and past abuse, I was mentally imprisoned in my, you know, hurtful thoughts um, about my past life. The devil kept trying me, but I constantly felt God fighting for me. Right. And I'm talking about fighting hard, I felt it. And I kept thinking, I must have a purpose in this life that God keeps fighting for me. Mm. Yes. So fast forward to April of 2023, Easter weekend, I visited Rockside Church once again. I felt good and I felt welcome. I felt loved. I also felt the need to cry, which I did by the way. One pastor Michelle approached me to greet me. I was hungry. I was hungry for God's love. I was hungry, hungry for his gospel. I felt so incomplete without him. Yes, I knew that he had been by my side the whole time. You know why? I'm gonna tell you why. I know because in March of 2023, I got on my knees to pray and I begged to God so bad and I said, please help me quit smoking. I don't wanna do this anymore. So many years of smoking, smoking my sorrows away, my depressions away, thinking it will help me feel good just for a few. So I surrendered everything to him. I gave up trying on my own and I begged him and begged him. And I begged him for the Holy Spirit to guide me and to be my strength. The very next morning I had one cigarette left. And I said, I'm gonna smoke it. I tried to smoke it and I just didn't feel right. It just I felt so nauseous, I began to have, get heart palpitations like crazy. I got scared. <laughs> so I turned it off and I threw it away in the trash. And since then, I quit cold turkey. Wow. And I really, really, really spiritually felt the Holy Spirit beside me, guiding me the very next day, the next day after that. Yeah. And I felt the Holy Spirit saying, you asked for me, so here we are. <laughs> yeah. I am with you and I will not leave you through this tough time all by yourself. I got you. So good. Yeah. Today, I am four months and one week smoke free. Wow. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Woo but guess what? I still felt a void. So I began to go to church here on Rockside and I turned it all, my sorrows, I turned it all in and the pain to God leaving it all at the altar. I still have one problem though. I don't know how to let go of my past pain and anger toward those who abused me and hurt me. So for the past week, I have been having dreams back to back about my past life with my abusers in the dream. And I asked myself, wow, is my trauma that bad? Mama. 
Say yes to me. What well, happened to my husband? He made a point. He made a point. He said maybe God talking to you through those dreams, telling you that you must forgive and let it all go. Forgive others, but most importantly, forgive yourself. I cried that he said that because that's exactly it. Forgiveness. It's what Jesus is about, along with love. He died for our sins and for us to be forgiven. So today I accept him as my Lord and Savior and get baptized to wash all of my path away and be more like Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Carmen. Just stay up here as, as Serenity shares. Are you okay? Just go ahead and share. You can step right there. There you go. I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior because I believe in him. I love him because he loves me too. And he died for me. I want to get baptized. I want because I want to feel the Holy Spirit inside of my heart. And I want Jesus to live in me forever. Amen. Amen. So good. I'm a part of a child, right? And in London, you want to share a little something too? Okay, here you go. <laughs> so sweet. Why I love Jesus? Simple. I love Jesus because I, he created me. He has given me what I needed, and I am grateful to him. He's the reason for our entire existence. It supplies us with everything. We need without asking for much in return. I've always accepted him as my Lord and Savior. I feel at home when I praise him. I know finally getting baptized will bring me closer to him and make our relationship stronger as we grow and continue to follow him. Amen. Amen. Good job. Can you guys just go ahead and stand to your feet? I want us just to give the Lord a hand clap, just in general. 